Inverted papillomas of the bladder account for less than 1% of urothelial neoplasms and they occur much more commonly in men than women and in a ratio of approximately 7 male to 1 female. The age at which they occur is in the 50s and 60s. The site is usually the trigone or bladder neck. Inverted papillomas are usually solitary and the important thing is that they are benign lesions. This is an example of a pedunculated inverted papilloma. Inverted papillomas of the bladder may present with hematuria, bladder outlet obstruction and or dysuria. As we've just seen, inverted papillomas may have a pedunculated appearance, but other morphological varieties include polypoid or sessile forms. They are usually less than 3 cm across, some may be as small as a few millimetres, but some may be as large as 6 or 7 cm. Histologically, the urothelium has a normal or reactive appearance and is arranged in cords and trabeculae with an inverted growth pattern into the lamina propria. A good way of demonstrating the benign nature of an inverted papilloma is a couple of stains. The CD44 shows a reactive pattern of the urothelium and the CK20 will just stain the umbrella cells. This is the histological appearance of an inverted papilloma and you can instantly appreciate the inverted growth pattern of cords and trabeculae of these urothelial cells. The antibody CD44 is a particularly useful stain for assessing the urothelium. A full thickness stain that we see here indicates a reactive pattern and this shows that this is indeed an inverted papilloma as the urothelium is benign. Inverted papillomas may be treated by transurethral resection and less than 5% of them will recur. The important differential diagnosis is of course urothelial carcinoma.